Ira, one more time, the 10-year bid-to-cover ratio, 2.5 instead of the previous number of 2.34. Also, the 10-year high-yield rate, 2.889 instead of the 2.811 that we saw last time around. Your assessment? Yeah, so this was a, actually a decent auction. I think with, uh, even though there's a little bit more being issued of 10-year debt and, and tomorrow more 30-year debt, um, the auctions have been pretty stable. So 2.5%, just to put some context around that, 2.5 um, bid to cover ratio is about the middle of the range from the last two years. So basically, uh, you know, you can't say it's particularly strong or weak, quite frankly. Um, and, and this demand just keeps on, uh, it keeps on piling up. I think the somewhat higher yields have something to do with that. Mm. Uh, what we continue to see, though, over the course of uh, the last several years, a chart 6582 on the Bloomberg showing you that the demand for 10-year notes has been falling and now is at around the lowest since 2009. Um, you were mentioning that supply is very much large right now, given that the Treasury has to finance its debt. Are we going to see more pressure on rates to go up? Well, so... It depends on where you look. I, I do think that in the front end, so two-year notes and three-year notes, which is really where the Treasury Department's issuing most of their new debt, uh, I think those yields could be pressured more than, say, 10-year debt, because there's only a little bit more of longer-term securities that the Treasury Department's actually issuing. And there's still okay demand for that sector, because there are uh, firms that need to own longer-term debt for things like pension plans and the like. So, um, so unless you wind up with a, an environment where we get much faster growth and maybe get a Federal Reserve that's perceived to be behind the curve, I think that 10-year notes might stay more or less where they are for the remainder of the year.